to my channel. So this class will be on how to draft a basic corset block. How to get your basic corset block. This is for beginners. The last tutorial I dropped, I said it was for advanced students, like for advanced. Now this is this will be for beginners class. And I'm going to break it down as simple as I can. So I will be using this pattern to make this beautiful dress on the screen. We'll be using the pattern to make this dress. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Thank you for those that are subscribed and the comments that you've been giving me. It's encouraging. Thank you so much. You've got, you're helping me to build this channel. You're helping me and I promise to be dropping good tutorials and interesting tutorials that will be helpful for both our beginners and our advanced students. So please help me to share and always like, comment, comment. And if you're seeing this for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. So we'll head to class. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead to rule out a reference line of two inches. This is a constant that I use. Reference line of two inches. And I went ahead to divide my pattern, my pattern paper, into two so I could get the front and the back of my bodies. This would be the back and this would be my front. Now, I also went ahead to put down, this is my armhole point, my bust point. On the boss point now this is my back half length and this is my front half length so if you follow my other corset classes you would know how to divide your front and your back there is a way to also get it since this is a beginner's a basic corset block you could fold your fat your paper into two and just get the midpoint but i maintained what i use i use my round balls divided by four plus two inches to get this midpoint and still get this back line so that's all what i use all right guys the next thing we'll be doing is to Bringing down our shoulder measurement. I'll be working with a shoulder measurement of 14. I'll be dividing it by 2. So I'll bring down my 7 inches here. And also bring down 3 inches for my neck width. And for our back neck depth, I'll come down by 1 inch. For our shoulder slope for the back, I'll come down by one inch. So I'll be connecting the back neck. So for my shoulder, I'll check what I have here. To make to be sure that I still have my seven inches, then I'll connect it back to the neck width. I'll come to the front and bring down my neck width also of three inches. And my shoulder of seven inches. For the front, I'll be coming down by 1.5. And for the neck depth for my front, I'll come down by three inches. So I'll, put, I'll place my tape on that uh, neck width to the shoulder slope. I want to be sure that I still have my seven inches, which I don't. So I'll mark 
back to 7 inches here and connect it back connect it back to the neck width and I'll connect my neck, my round neck So coming down to our chest line. To get your chest line, you divide your round boss by six and you'll be adding 1.5 and another one inch to it. It's a standard, it gives you a perfect armhole. So for the back, I'll come down by 7.5 because of our back we'll be having a back tightening for this pattern so our back tightening will get to the neck depth so because of that i'm adding back half inch to our shoulder measurements on the armhole point for only the back so i'll connect this line Also connect the front so with this being done I'll be coming up for the front I'll be coming up by three inches and from that three inches I'll be going in by 0 0.75 this is for the front for the back I will just divide whatever I have here by two i'll just divide by two and from there i'll go in by 0 0.05 and i'll connect the lines up to a shoulder slope with a straight through Now, we'll be needing a round boss divided by four. For this measurement, a round boss divided by four is 8.7. Now, I'll be bringing down my 8.7 to our armhole point and I'll add half inch to it. I'll do the same thing for the back, bringing down 8.7 and I'll be adding half inch to it. Now I'll connect it with my armhole curve to that point. The same thing for the front. We always do this for the front because our front armhole is always deeper than our back armhole. So now we'll be needing our bust apart divided by two. My bust apart, the bust apart I'm working with is seven inches. I'll be dividing by 2, which will give me 3.5. So I'll be putting this down this 3.5 on the waist and on our bust point. The waist and our bust point. Now I'll connect this with a long, a straight room. For the back, I bring down my back tightening of 0 0.75. You can do a back tightening for a very slim person of 0 0.5. You can do for a plus size for one inch. So this person is slim. Let me use, I'll be using 0 0.5 for this person because she's really slim. 
So I'm using 0 0.5. And I'll be connecting this 0 0.5 all the way to our neck. I'm connecting it to our neck depth. So for the back, from there, I'll be bringing down my round waist divided by four. We have 6.75. Now I'll be adding 1.5 to read. Which I'll connect, link this back. I'll be linking it to the armhole point. So I'll just check what I have here. Because if I do this, if I take my dad from the center back, the original center back, it might affect that. So what I do is to measure what I have here from my back tightening, because this is now our new center back from our back tightening. So I'm going to be dividing what I have there by, by two. So I'll be coming down on the chest line, I'll come down by one inch. That is where my dart leg will stop. That is where my dart is going to stop. So I'll be taking, on both sides of our dart, I'll be taking 0 0.75. If you took one inch for your dart, then you'll be taking 0 0.05. I move to the front. So I'll, I'll put down my round waist divided by four. We have 6.75. So I'll bring that down. And I'll see add 1.5. So I'll be connecting it to the armhole. So I'll be taking 0 0.75 on both sides. And now I'll be linking it up to the bust point, that's the nipple point. Now, I'll be needing the difference between my back and my front half length. Knowing that our back and our front is not equal, does not match. I think I'll drop a tutorial on how to measure your client properly. Now, you check what you have here. Our difference is 2.5. So, I'll be bringing it down to this our bust point. At the side, I'm bringing down 2.5 and I'll check for the difference of 2.5, which is 1.25 and I'll mark that. I'll still bring it out. 1.25, I'll still bring it down out and I'll connect it. I'll connect it with a straight through to the armhole. I'm using a curve rule. I'll bring it down. So I'm going to be connecting the two inches points, 2.5 inches points to the nipple point. And the next thing I'll do is to divide my shoulder by two. Whatever I have here, I'm going to bring to have four, 
I'm going to bring it down to the nipple point. So now we'll be having an overbust tightening for this. So it depends on how much you want to review. Here, I'll be doing I'll be doing five inches for this. I came down by five inches. So uh, for our uh, for our uh, overbust tightening, for a skinny person, you can do 0.05. For my size, I like to use 0 0.07. For uh, for a very big person, you can use one inches or one inch, sorry, on both sides. Now I'll be connecting this with a straight through to the nipple point also. Now from my neck width, I'll come down. For my neck width, I'll come down. I'll be coming down from my neck width to my cleavage point where I want the my cleavage to stop, like where I want my neck to stop. I'll be coming down. This is where my yoke is going to stop. So we call it cleavage point. So I'll, come, I'll be coming down by five. 5.5 hmm? No, let me do 5. I'm going down by 5 5 inches. So from there, I'll be I'll go in by 0 0.05. Yeah. So this is where This is where my cleavage point is going to stop now the next thing I'll be doing is our underboss tightening for our underboss tightening I'll be checking my round underboss divided by 4 my round underboss divided by 4 is with 7 points is 7.5 I have 7.5 for my round on that ball, so I'll bring, I'll, I'll bring that down, 7.5. So now I'll check the difference, what I have left from that 7.5. I'll check what I have here. I have 1.25. So now, since I have 1.25 as a remainder, I'm going to bring down 1 inch here and 0 0.2 on this other side of the center front the one inch is going to the side and the 0 0.2 is coming towards the center front so now i'm going to be bringing this down to our that leg now using my cover but with, I'm not using too much curve. I'm going to link this back to my bust point. Yeah. I'm going to link it back to my bust point. And I'll do the same thing. I'll turn my curve here. You're not supposed to use any um, curve. We're just going to bring it down this way, just very little, and I'll connect it back to the boss point. So at this point, I'm going to I'm going to cut out, separate the front and the back.
So I've gone ahead to separate the front and the back. This is our front piece. So the next thing I'll be doing is, I'll come in at the side by 1.5. I'm coming in here, that's at the armhole point. I'll come in by 1.5. And I'm going to cut out, cut open this, that, our, um, our poster part, so I can close, uh, I'll clo I can close my bust that. So this is how you close. You cut it open and hold the line. So I'll be closing it this way. And I'll tape it down. So now, I've taped this down. If your line here shifted, do not panic. You just connect it back. Mine did not shift actually, but I'll just blend up. Now, after doing this, I'm going to cut through this line because I want to get a curve. Now this is our alteration. We've gotten to alteration. So you have to pay a close attention at this point. I'm going to cut through to our bust, our over bust and to our bust. Now I want to get these two to lay on each other i'm going to hold this part and i'm going to lay it on this other part i'll use my tracing wheel to trace us this point i'm using my tracing wheel to trace us this point And I'm going to release this. So you see what I did? I want to get this, this part very well. So after doing this, I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect to my this is my cleavage points i'm going i'll be connecting from here make sure this other side faces the upper part because you don't want it to be really really curvy so i'm going to do this it's going to stop here you shouldn't get to this point you should get you should stop at that 0 0.5 away from the center front So this can give you a good call. We are doing this. Now, from this zero point, this 1.5, you will connect it all the way from this 1.5. I'll be connecting this.
all the way. And now the next thing I'll be doing is here I'll be connecting our curve all the way from this point to our underbust, making sure that if the line does not exceed 1.5 to 1.25. So this is one. This is one point two five. This is one point five. So I'm going to connect these are cleavage points all the way to the underboss. We will have our underboss tightening. So I've connected that now I bring it to the side I'm going to connect from here to the 1.5 at our arm hole you know we came in by 1.5 now we're going to connect our curve like this to that point So I've connected that. Now, you might want to use your free hand for this part. I want to get a good curve. This is good, but I want to see if I can get a better curve. Following a <coughs> side curve. So I want to do this. If it's not nice, so I'll just maintain what I have at first so this is the two curves I think I'll go with the first I'll go with this wall the one I just did with my free hand because it, the line blends very well with this other part so I think I'll go with that one so I'm going to go ahead to tape back this our shoulder. I'm going to take that back. And I'm going to cut out. I'll be extending my neck by one inch, my neck width, and the neck depth by one inch also. And I'll connect that. have a new neck you know that whatever I do to the front now I'll be doing that to the back I'm cutting that space the armhole So you can do this and add a cup to it. You can do this and add your wording. I'll be using wording for this one. I'll be 
I'm using my whole thing for this. I'll be cutting out the um, our tightening for the under bust. Make sure that this your nipple point is blending very well. If it does not, you can do that with you can do that with your curve rule and blend it up very well. Now, as you can see on our pattern, on our style, we have a basque. So we we'll be bringing that down. This dress will be having a basque. So I'm going to add a paper, a fresh paper under and i'll tape it down I'm taping it down because of the basque. We have to get the effect. We have to get the effect. See what I'm doing? I'm taping this down. we can add our basque now. Now to get your basque, you could ask your clients or you can sit down and check from your waist. You sit down and check what you have to the point that you want your back to stop. But it shouldn't be more than five inches. You can do three, four, five. So for this, I'll be doing five inches for our basque. I'll be coming down by five inches. And it depends, it depends the shape you want for your basque. It depends the shape you want. I want this to, I don't want it to really be like, I want to have a little kind of V shape. But I don't want to use my straight rule to do that. So let's see. I can do this. So this is it. This is beautiful for me. This is beautiful for me. So this is where my basque is going to end. If I did five inches. So I can cut that out now. I'll do is to connect this at that leg. I'm going to be bringing it down. I'm going to extend it here. I brought it down. So I'm going to cut open. So 
I'm going to extend this other that leg down. And I'm going to cut out my dart. I'm going to do this all the way to our over bust. I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to cut out my core. See what I'm doing. This is I'm cutting out my cup. I'm going to cut out my cup. So now we are having our cups, our center front, our side front, and our yoke. These are the pieces you will be having. Should have. So this is our front. This is our front. So I'm going to label our front yoke. Now, this is my nipple point. I'm going to label that with an arrow on both sides. And I'll see put down my side center front, center front. Here will be my side front and my side front. Now, you can do your up with an arrow and your down to indicate. So this could be confusing at times. So this is all our front piece. Now, we we'll move up to the back. To get our back. Remember we came in by one inch at the neck width. I'll do the same thing for the back and the neck depth. And I'll be connecting it. I've connected it. So for this part, I'll be coming out by 2.5. For my dart leg, I'm coming out by 2.5. Here, I'm coming out by 1.25. So I'm going to bring this down. This will be having a modesty panel. So here, I can do this with a I can do this with a straight rule or curve rule. I'm going to connect from this point. I'll be bringing it down. So this is a straight is with a straight you can do this with a curve glue. And here I'm going to divide what I have here. I'm dividing what I have here. So we'll have four. I'll bring it down to this point. Bring it out to this point. So you can do this, this will now be our yoke. If you think it's really small, you can bring it from this neck side. You can bring it all the way to this point. Sorry, all the way to this point. Let's see. I think I'll use this one. Yeah. So the next thing I'll do is to close our back that because I want to close it. You can close it or you can 
cut it out and join it on your fabric you can close your dart on on your paper your pattern So now I'll be having a modesty panel for this. If you want to have a modesty panel, whatever you're taking out of this place, you're going to add it back times two. So now when we came out by 2.5 here, we are going to measure the 2.5. Or you can add anything you want. This is five inches here, yeah, 2.5 times two is five. So you're going to have that from there for your modesty panel. Here we came out by 1.25, which will give us 2.5 to this point. So now, if you feel that this is too curvy, you can straighten it up a bit. You can straighten it up a bit. this will go this is fine so now I'm adding my modesty panel but if you do not want a modesty panel please cut out here cut out from here so I'm cutting out this so this will be my back view I'm throwing this away this away my back view so now I can do this I can close my dart on my paper knowing that I will not be having a dart for the back I can close this out or I can sew it on my fabric, so I'll, let me close it. Don't sew. Let me not have plenty lines. I'll be closing this. So now I'm going to be. Cutting out, this is our back. This is my back. Now, for my modesty panel, this is my modesty panel. So, this is my modesty panel. I'm going to write it out down. So. my back this is my center back this is my side back we'll be drafting our skirts we'll be drafting down the skirts so I've gone ahead to root out my reference line my hip line my knee line and my full length so I'm going to cut out from that full length now the next thing we'll be doing is to help to get our front and back the front and back of our skirt now to get the front and back of our skirt we will need a round hip divided by four. So my round hip divided by four is 9.25. So I'll bring it down down 9.25, which is my round hip divided by four. I'll be bringing it down just like what we do for our bodies. We'll do the same thing here, but here we are not adding any two inches. So I have 9.25, I'll bring it down. 
here and I also bring it down to the back we we'll have 9.25 I'll bring this all the way to the hem And I'll connect the lines. I'm connecting the lines. So after connecting the uh, lines, this is my back and this is my front. This is my back and this is my front. So remember for the back, we did a back tightening of 0 0.5, which are bringing down to our skirt, 0 0.5, this is it, and I'll be connecting this. With my curl broom, not with too much curl, I'm pointing it back to our hip. Now this is our bum bum part, this is the center back. I'm connecting it at the center back. So this is it. So around waist is 6.75. I'll be divide, I'll be putting that down here 6.75 and I'll add one inch for our dart. I'll be adding one inch for our dart. I'll do the same thing for the front. We'll have 6.75. Plus one inch for our dart. And I'm going to connect that part to our hip. Now you know, remember we have a, our exact hip, which is this line. So I'm bringing, connecting that to our hip.
I will do the same thing for the front. So you see, now I'll be bringing down our uh, heel, uh, a poster part. Here we have 3.5, or you just divide whatever you have here. I'll divide it by two and get the midpoint to plot uh, that. I'll do the same thing for the back. Check what you have and divide it by two. This is what I have. So here I'll be coming out. I'll be coming down by five inches. Come down by five inches. Then I'll connect it all the way. And I will separate. I'll open my dots by 0 0.5 on both sides and bring connect it down we'll be doing the same thing for the back come down by 0 0.5 you connect And you open up, this is like that, it's past. You open up by half inch on both sides and connect. So moving on to we move to an above knee. For my above knee, we'll be penciling this by two inches. By two inches. So for the back, you're going to share that two inches. You're going to be putting down two inches on the side and two inches on our center, our center back. You see? So I'll be bringing that down. I'll do this, I'll bring it down from our hip. From our hip, I'm going to be connecting this. I'm going to bring it down. Touching that one inch. I'll do the same thing for the center back. From the center back point, Please, you can do this with a straight rule. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the front. Connecting it back to the hip. So I don't have any curvy edge here. They are all straight. Now I'll come down to the hem. I'll come down to the hem. I'll do the same thing. I want to bring down that two inches we have. I'm bringing it down. And for the back, I'm still going to share it. One inch on the back side back and on our center back. I'm going to connect this using my straight through. I'm going to connect this down. I'll do the same thing for this back side. And I'll do this also.
So now the next thing I'll do is to cut out the boat's back and our front, the both sides of our skirt, and we start. Remember that this skirt is not a pencil skirt, so we have to open it up, close our that. Then you no, know, we have basque on the upper bodies, so we are going to bring that down to the front. So we we'll do that now. I'll cut out and we'll continue. So now I'm cutting out the back. Remember, you're cutting through the pencil line, and when we get to the center back, we are cutting to our back tightening. We are cutting through our back tightening. Don't need it anymore. So I'll do the same thing for the side. So this is how to get your pencil skirt. Trust me guys, it can if if you can even do 2.5 for your pencil and trust me to come out really really beautiful. You can do 2.5, 2.5 is really really nice too. So this is the back of our skirt. I'll cut out the front. I wanted to do this off camera, but I know there will be patients like, did you cut out the back? Did you cut out the, did you cut out the, scent, the back tightening? So I, I wanted to show you how to cut out. You're cutting through the pencil line. Remember, this is for basic and advanced. So I want everybody to. I want to take everybody along. So yeah, this is it. is not penciled it's not a straight pencil skirt so we'll be adding fullness to it but first of all at the center front you'll be coming down by one inch and I'll be raising this part I'm sorry by one inch but i have to connect i have to co close my i have to close my that first so i'm closing my that you close your dots just pick out the line and close put it on top of the other line and that is it Now I've closed my dots. This is it. I don't want to have the dots on my skirt. I want to close it on my pattern. It will still give you the same effect it's going to give to your fabric when you close it on your fabric. So from that one inch we came down, I'm going to connect this. Let me use the cover. I'm going to connect this all the way up. Out. 
Now, for this upper up the top side, I'm going to come in with I'm going to come in with my up bodies, the center front. So I'll blend this. Now, this is my my upper bodies. For the front i'm going to be closing this i'm going to be closing this at uh, that because i won't be having a that i'm going i'm eliminating all my that the pattern so because i don't want to have a that i don't want to be sewing the dots on my dress so i'm closing it down I'll close it and blend it very well. has shifted because of uh, that we didn't cut that out before before we did a modesty panel so i'm going to just add paper and blend it well i'm going to blend that well Okay, so now this is our front so I'm going to I'm going to place this here now we've seen that we've, since we've closed that, that for both fronts the up and the down we we'll have to make sure that it's matching we we'll have to make sure that our pattern is matching so I'm going to bring in this to this point. This have to lay. I'm going to be doing this. So I'm making sure it is laying. I'm going to connect this to a skirt. I'm going to connect this to a skirt. So so this is it. I'm going to cut. I'm going to be cutting that out. We won't be needing that this part anymore. I'll be cutting it out. So this is it. So now it's not matching with our front. Now, the next thing I'll do to add fullness to this our pattern here, we are going to start from our above knee, which is this point. Now, I'm going to divide it by two. We'll have 7.1. We can do 3.2. Yeah. 
be dividing by two, and the hem line, the hem will be dividing by two also. We'll have the same thing. So I'm going to connect these lines. So they're going to be slashing open to that point. You see? I'm going to slash open to that point to our above knee. This is how you add fullness to your skirt. Now, when I slash it to this side, I'm going to slash open to very close to this point, but I'm not going to cut through. I don't know if it makes sense. That makes sense, but I know. Yeah. You see? I cut really close to the line, but I didn't cut it through. Now we are going to be opening it off. Now this the opening is not really big. On the style we are making, it's not really big. It's not really full. So this is it. Now we be slashing. And spreading this is what they call slash and spread metal we are going to do this now it depends on how full you want your skirt to be if it depends on how full you want your skirt to be now you can come come down from this point by 1.5 or two inches you can check what you have here this is from here, you check what you have. You can do 1.5, depending on how full you want it to be. This is my 1.5 and this is 20. So I think I should do, I'll be doing 1.5. I'll be doing 1.5. So I'm going to open it up for 1.5 and tape it down. I'm going to be taping it down. So now this is our 1.5 point. Like I said, it depends on the fullness you want. You could also do 2, 2.5. Just know that it will really be big and it will consume a lot of fabric. So to even put this together, I need other paper. I'll be using the paper that I'll be cutting out to connect this together. I'll be taping it down. Do the same thing for this other for the side. I'm going to be taping this down.
to make sure that they all lay flat. I think after showing you how to do the front, you should be able to do the back. So now this is what we we'll have. To make sure that the down is equal, I'm going to be measuring what I have here. Here I have so what I'm doing. I'm starting my tape from the knee. I have 22.5. I have 22.5. I will make sure I have that 22.5 at the middle. This will help your pattern to lay and be equal. So here we have exactly 22.5. Connecting this. Do the same thing by turning my my curve. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to be cutting out the line. So here, our pattern is now equal, and this is it. This is the down, whatever fullness, and this is the upper side. This is the up. So with this pattern, I think you should be able to add fullness to your back pattern. Just like the way we did for the front. You should be able to do the same thing for your back. Remember to use whatever you came down by the front. Use also the same thing for the back. I'm going to be keeping that aside. And be, you will remember to close for the back. Now, be coming up at the back, center back, by half inch. And here, will be coming down by half inch. Now we'll do that. We will do that after we close uh, that. So here. If you're watching this till this point, please, you can pause and click on the subscribe button. Give your girl some love. Please subscribe to this channel. Now, I'm going to connect, I'm going to be connecting this point all the way with my straight rule. No. With my straight rule, I'm going to be connecting it all the way. So this is it. Now I will cut out. So this is our back. Now, I would, like I said, you will do the same thing. 
that you did for the front to add fullness, what you have to do is to divide what you have here by two, which will have the same thing for the front. Three point, we we'll have seven, sorry. We we'll have seven point one now, we'll be bringing it down to this point. I will do the same thing for the hem and connect it back. Connecting it back. Now we'll have to slash open. Now we'll do the same thing, the same points we came down, we came down by 1.5. We'll do the same thing for the back. Now this we are not adding tail to this. It's just equal for both front and back. And I'll be taping this down. By coming down by 1.5, just like I did for my front, I'll come down by 1.5. This is my 1.5, yeah. So I can tape this down. Since I'm sure I now have my 1.5 So now I'm going to add paper to read. So I've, I've gone ahead to add fullness to our back. And I'm done with our front and our back. So this is it. And our bodies. So guys, we've come to the end of the class. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And please put this to practice. It will come out really, really fine. Thank you guys and please subscribe. Please and please click on the subscribe button. So our next class will be on how to put this beautiful piece together. How to make them because we are sure going to make this. So. Thank you guys for staying till the end of this class. See you in our next class. Bye.